Hello to our global brain shift community. I'm Dr. Romy, founder of the Brain Shift Institute, whole person wellness for your brain, body, and your team. I wanted to record this special message to you all. I've just finished my dinner in my home office here in Orlando, Florida, and about to force myself to do digital detox. And I wanted to just welcome, um, we have welcomed over 10,000 people in the last six weeks to our brain shift community. You are watching this video likely because you took the busy brain test in the last six weeks at one of our corporate speaking events, or if you heard me on a podcast and looking at the data from the last six weeks, it seems as if over 80% of people are scoring above a 30 on your busy brain test. And I didn't want to leave you panicked. And I wanted to do a check-in. How are you doing? We discussed some easy steps for you to do in the lecture. And I thought I would just circle back with a gentle reminder. I know life can be upside down as we transition into spring. As I record this video and the world is opening up, many of you may be taking spring break with your families and life can feel even more hectic. And you're like, what happened? I went on vacation. Well, it may still be a busy brain. And so I just wanted to, you know me, I love a good slide deck, share a few reminders. What is busy brain? It's been the syndrome that I've been researching for the last six years, working with high achieving professionals, just like you, that uh, waking up with the lack of energy, needing caffeine or a stimulant to go all day, and then you still have difficulty paying attention and focusing and you're stuck in anxious analysis paralysis on a task that should be easy to do. You're wired and you're tired and you go home and you want to take the edge off. So you have a glass of wine or a whiskey and, or you just take an overpriced supplement you found from an Instagram influencer and you still can't fall asleep because of racing thoughts in your bed. Well, that triad of difficulty focusing or attention deficit disorder, which is adult onset, ruminating anxiety and insomnia is actually a busy brain and brain shift is the cure. And you're like, wait, Hey, homie, Dr. Romy, what is brain shift? Well, I had a little time on my hand in the pandemic, did you? And I got bored binge watching um, Tiger King on Netflix. Actually, I was rather traumatized. So I thought, let me do something more joyful and dig into the psychoneuroimmunoendocrinology research. And by now you have heard all the health and wellness advice. It's conflicting. You're confused. You don't know what to follow. As a brain doctor and chief wellness officer and one of the go-to authorities for Fortune 500 companies to talk about stress management and burnout, I wanted to find the solutions. Uh, over 17,000 people in our study period took the busy brain test and we found everybody had these symptoms and didn't know what to do next and felt like you've tried everything. Does that sound uh, similar. And I'm not here to put you on a diet. That's the last thing. In fact, this is a gentle reminder, number one, to eat your comfort food, like we discussed in the lecture, but brain shifts are the eight most proprietary micro habits that when you stack them on each other will make you feel better. What did we find? You're not alone. If you had a high score on the busy brain test, people either found pattern one, they can't fall asleep due to, um, racing thoughts at night you wake up in the middle of the night and you can't go back to sleep or no matter how much you slept, you woke up exhausted. Um, type in the comments below on YouTube if, or Instagram, if you're a type one, two, or three. So what did you do? I asked you to start with the micro habits um, of weeks one and two, where I really want to help you restore your sleep and your sanity. And how do we turn down that busy brain? Well, it's taking a good old fashioned pen and paper, and you don't need a fancy journal because look at mine, they're all sitting here pretty and empty, just a random piece of paper and pen. And if you think it, ink it, make lists and to-do lists of what you need to do at home, what you need to do at work. Because our busy brain center in the brain is like a cloud storage space that's like out of, out of space. So when we write, we release, we feel free. It tells our limbic system, hey, I don't have to stress, obsess, worry about this and, and process these emotions and these short-term memories. That's what I want you to do. You had a reminder on the link to set a regular time to go to bed and wake up. Could you do that for the next seven days? 
and try to do what I'm going to do after I record this video, digital detox for 30 to 60 minutes prior to bed and try a brain dump. And you got some guided meditations in your resources. So this is just a gentle reminder from your homie, Dr. Romy, to try and be gentle with yourself and get back on track because I'm a firm believer that if we can't re we can't rebuild our relationships or businesses without first getting the state of our brain straight. And that's what brain shift is all about. Do you have any follow-up questions for me? Hit reply on this email or leave a comment below on YouTube or on Instagram. I want to know how you're doing. It was an honor to meet you all um, virtually for many of your conferences, in person um, uh, for conferences and your company meetings. And we're here to be of service. We are revving up for May, a busy schedule. It's Mental Health Awareness Month. We're really excited to work with our corporate teams globally. We are uh, traveling again in person and doing virtual workshops. So if I can be of service to you, click the link below to the speaking page and reach out. We're here to help you and your team brain shift.